video we will learn about declare constraint so when to use this declare constraint is if there is a continuous validation on a property for different case types I mean the same property used in different case types and you want to do validation for each of them then you can go for declare constraints in declare constraints there is no need of uh, configure it okay you just create it e your uh, application only takes care of their system only will take care of it so in declare constraint uh, when to use this declare constraint as I said you right whenever you want to check the condition then yes you can use it I have already created this but I have deleted uh, for a different uh, scenario so let me restore the case which is restore the prop rule which I have uh, deleted so for that you can go to configure uh, in configure uh, you can see uh, uh, development in that you can see recent actions so under recent actions you can see view deleted rules uh, on in that see our declare constraint declare constraint rule where it this is the declare constraint rule with which I deleted so it will be open now so this is the uh, declare constraint rule which I deleted so what is the purpose of this declare constraint over here is if the age is less than 17 or equal to 17 then it should throw an error saying that it should be greater than uh, eight, uh, 18 okay so what actually required is a age always should be greater than 17 so I have to restore it so let me restore this yes restore so where did I use it I used it in the insurance class uh, then uh, let me create create a case for that insurance so you can see insurance over here so in this insurance yeah I you can see age over here uh, you can see definitely this there is a red color over here saying that age should not be empty also now I submit it yes it will show an error to me that age should be greater than 17 so let me give 18 then it will move to the next uh, screen yes so this is how you do declare constraint and the declare constraint rule is like this okay right so what would be the interview question over here, over here is yes I want to check the same thing you want to basically what do you do whenever you want to check a condition okay based on a certain value if you want to compare and check whether it is true or false upon submission so what would be your uh, my, our mind mindset is v our mind says that you have to create a validate rule so what happens when you create a validate rule validate rule you have to create it and as well as you have to uh, configure that but instead what we are doing here we are not creating any validate rule directly we are using declare constraint okay so that will take care of it thank you